Okay, what is up there YouTube? This is J Man Time and today I have what could be one of the most mysterious weapons used by the German military police during the Second World War. And that is the SDK model 1939, also known in German as the Shell Danfa Carabiner model 1939. And this was a rare bullpup bolt action silenced police carbine that was reportedly used by the German Gestapo or the military police of the Third Reich or National Socialist Government of Germany. Now this weapon actually has a pretty strange history, but first let's go over the specifications of this weapon. Now the Shell Denfer Carabiner Model 1939 was a bullpup bolt action pistol carbine, a suppressed pistol carbine from 1939. This weapon actually used a strange variation of the 9x19mm Parabellum. It could use the standard 9x19mm Parabellum cartridge, but it also used a strange assassination cartridge known as the 9x19mm cyanide-tipped Parabellum cartridge, which was an assassination round reportedly used by the Gestapo. This weapon used the 8-round Luger P08 magazine, the 8-round magazine used in the P08 semi-automatic pistol, and it had an effective range of between 20 and 150 yards. Now, this weapon was reportedly commissioned by a German military police um, captain by the name of Graf von Heldorf who actually had the longest name I've ever seen on a German. His full name was Wolf Heidrich Julius Otto Bernhard Fritz Hermann Ferdinand Graf von Heldorf, who was born in 1869, and he actually served on the, he actually served in the Gestapo or the German military police. And reportedly, he had this rifle commissioned in 1939 for Gestapo commanders and Gestapo assassins operating on behalf of the German government. Now, this rifle first appeared in the US in the 1960s. It was reportedly found by a retired army colonel named James P. Atworth, who died, who passed away in 1997. Now, in 1960, Atworth claims that this SDK carbine was actually found in von Heldorf's home at the end of the war in 1945 in the western half of Germany that was under the occupation of American forces. Now, so in the 1960s, Atworth actually sold this rifle to a arms collector, and during that time period, he was also under allegations of selling false daggers or fake daggers were purchased in the 1940s during the Second World War, and he later sold those daggers to various collectors in the 1950s and 60s. So this actually led to a strange allegation that this SDK carbide was not really a World War II era weapon, but to me it actually does seem like it is a genuine World War II weapon. Now this weapon actually uses a, a miniaturized version of the German Zis scope, the same scope used on the German Car 98 sniper variants. And this weapon was reportedly used by the Gestapo. This weapon, like I said, was a bolt pump bolt action pistol carbine. And the bolt action was actually located in the stock area of the rifle. And it also used detachable Luger P08 magazines, eight round magazines for the Luger uh, pistol. Now this rifle was also a takedown carbine, meaning it could be disassembled and stored away pretty easily when compared to other non-takedown carbines that were used by the Germans during the Second World War. And like I said earlier, this weapon has a pretty strange history. Some like myself believe that this, this weapon is actually a rare Gestapo weapon, and many others believe that the weapon was probably fake, that James Atwood probably purchased it somewhere else and simply sold it as a World War II police carbine, simply sold it as a rare German weapon from the Second World War. But what do you all think of this weapon, the Gestapo Model 19? the shell Denfer carabiner, the suppressed bolt action pistol carbine that was reportedly used by the Gestapo during the Second World War. Please tell me in the comment section below and until next time, this was J-Man Time signing off.